Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a 51-year-old male with pain in his shoulder, difficulty moving. He's had no prior injury, but boy, his shoulder hurts. And again, anytime he moves it, it's uh, very painful. So he has something we call adhesive capsulitis, or a frozen shoulder. And this commonly is associated with labral tears in my um, in my experience. So this patient does have a labral tear, and I'll show you what this looks like along with the adhesive capsulitis. So here's his humeral head. Here's the cup it rotates in, the glenoid. We see a little black wedge along the back, a triangle. That's the posterior labrum. The anterior labrum is here. As we go down to the bottom, things should look okay. As we roll up towards the top, in the back here, the labrum here does not look quite so good. In front, it's dark, nice triangle. But back here, it looks foggy and gray. And on this view, we see white or high signal here. So this is fluid signal. There's a horizontal tear right through the base of that labrum. So instead of a nice triangle, we see a fluid-filled tear. So a complex tear, posterior, superior labrum, and this is what is inciting the inflammatory response that we call adhesive capsulitis. So the question is, well, how do we know he has adhesive capsulitis? So if we roll up to this region, here's a coracoid process. There's a little area in here that sometimes they will get inf uh, inflammation or scarring. So right in this area, we see intermediate signal like a triangle here in front of the anterior labrum. So this is where we're looking. Also, if we put up a coronal view, we see that area on this view right here. Normally, normally this will have fluid or maybe fat. This is subcutaneous fat. You should see a little triangle of fat in here, but instead we see a big mound of just intermediate signal, which is that inflammatory response, prominent inflammation or scarring. Also, the inferior joint capsule can look thick. So this is the inferior joint capsule. Normally, it won't be nearly as thick, but it looks like a big, thickened inferior joint capsule, capsulitis. And put up another view here. This is one where fluid should be bright. We see fluid in the biceps tendon sheath over here. We have a little tenus synovitis. Here's that superior labrum. Now we're going to look at the inferior joint capsule that is too thick. And we're going to roll forward to this special area. Right in here, this is the subscapularis muscle. This is the tendon. And right above that, in this rotator interval area, we see this intermediate signal kind of speckled. This is a big mound of inflammation, adhesive capsulitis, associated with or incited by this labral tear. And that's it. Thank you very much.